Hello, welcome to John B. R. D. The Research Desk. Today we'll be talking about economic class system. So let's get into it. Where do I fall in the American economic class system? It isn't as simple as pulling out a calculator or looking at a pay stub. How much you should save? My raid forces shape individuals' economic class and their views on where they rank alongside other Americans. When asked how they identify their social class, 72% of Americans said they belonged in the middle class or working classes, according to 2020. Our survey from Gallup in determining their social class People often don't just think about income, experts say. But about other factors, including education, location, and family history. Larger economic trends may also impact how people view their class rank. From for two, 2020, one major economic trend is the financial fallout caused by coronavirus pandemic which has impact the wealth of health of workers and businesses. Unfortunately, recent class related data, which is from 2019, don't take into consideration the economic damage caused by the pandemic. And we won't see that impact in numbers for another year or so. Perhaps we'll see some segments of the population moving backwards in terms of income A non-resident fellow at the Urban Institute and research professor at George Washington University, on the other hand, higher income folks who can work from home may see less disruption to their financial life. How to budget for a long-term unemployment. In general, much of today's political rhetoric focuses on the challenges facing the middle class. And although household income have risen over the past 50 years or so, it took more than 15 years for households to regain their 2000 level income and recover from their short lived to regain the short lived 2001 recession. And longer, the Great Recession, says Richard Fly senior researcher at Pew Research. The 15 year period of stagnation was an episode of unprecedented duration in the past five decades. Finding the right financial advisor that fits your needs doesn't have to be hard. Smart Assets free tool matches you with top luxury financial advisors in your area in five minutes. Each advisor has been vetted by a smart asset and is legally bound to act in your best interests. If you're ready to be matched with local advisors that will help you achieve your financial goals, get started now. Meager income gains likely have contributed to feelings of frustration and downward mobility. And while most American households are doing better than they were 50 years ago, the gains have not been equal. Everybody's better off, but in particularly the well off who are better off. So what does this mean in terms of where you fall in American economics class system? Here's what we know. Are you poor? Here's how poverty is defined, breaking down economic class by income. One objective way some researchers divide individuals into economic classes just by looking at their income. From that data, they split earners into different classes, such as poor, lower middle class, middle class, upper middle class, and wealthy. The income cutoffs that divide those income ranges can change 
from year to year and between method methodology. But here's a sense of where that stands. According to recent data, what is a middle class income? <clears throat> Pew Research defines middle income Americans as those whose annual household income is two thirds to double the national median adjusted for local cost of living and household size. For a family of three, that ranges from $40,100 to $120,400. For 2018 incomes in a recent Pew study, the lowest income group earned less than $40,100 for a family of three, while in the highest income households had incomes topping $120,400 in 2018. Those numbers have your head spinning. Here's a breakdown of income and class for a family of three based on Pew Research's data. Income group. Low income less than 40,100. Middle income 40,100 to 120,400. Upper income more than 120,400. Pew has developed a calculator to determine income class into which you can plug relevant financial, geographic, and household information for a take on where you rank. According to 2019 numbers run by Rose, the range for a middle-class family of three was an income of $53,413 to $106,827. That same three-person family with an income between zero dollars and thirty-two thousand forty-eight per year was considered poor and near poor. A family earning between thirty-two thousand forty-eight dollars and fifty-three thousand four hundred thirteen dollars was considered lower middle class. For high earners, a three-person family needed an income between $106,827 and $373,894 to be considered upper middle class. Those who earn more than $373,894 are rich. In my mind, there's a big divide today between the upper middle class and the middle class. Some of that divide is cultural. The middle class feels like they're missing out and they feel talked down to by the upper class, he says. Here's a breakdown on income class for 2019. Incomes for a family of three. Poor or near poor is $32,048 or less. Lower middle class is $32,048 to $53,413. Middle class, $53,413 to $106,827. Upper middle class, $106,827 to $373,894. The rich, $373,894 and up. Am I middle class? Whether you consider middle class depends on more than just your income or the balance of your bank account. Where you fall in the American economic class system may not stay consistent throughout your life or even from year to year, experts say. For example, a law student may earn a modest graduate student stipend of 20,000 per year, currently placing her or him and the low income class, but their educational attainment and future earnings will most likely catapult her income and class placement to higher level down the road. People really need to understand that whatever is happening with their class rank today is part of a trajectory, part of their life, economic inequity what it is and how it impacts you. 
Other factors helping to find a middle class. Class identity extends beyond what your W-2 income form claims you earn. A factor of individuals may use to determine class is educational attainment, where people who have post-secondary degrees link in their class placement to those degrees. Your location also has a major impact on how you feel you stack up class-wise. Making 120000 per year is a lot different in small towns, Indiana, than it is in New York City. So where do you place an American economic class system? You can look at income, education, marital status, location, family history, gut instinct, and a host of other factors to out find out where you fall. But the bottom line is, finding an answer is more complex than just looking at a number. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe. Please hit the bell notify icon for notifications for future releases. Thank you for watching.